Check for over here. Another brown box too. Okay. Got a big one this time. So let's see if we can open this. video to get rid of this out. Yeah, that was a bit of a scare. <laughs> Not so much space to work with. But I got this far. Yep, so we're going to um, test an electric kick bike. It doesn't burn down the house. The charger. Be the worst, the worst of the bikes. But it's not the most expensive one. It's supposed to lift up and lock in place. Is it just a matter of? Okay, now. 
support in here. And then when you press that down, it lifts the pins up. Big to drop. Yeah. I have to slot those in place. Well, now it's um, assembled, so yeah. Well, what can I say? Battery pack electronics. I don't know if this one comes with a remote. I didn't see one in the package. So this is the manual operator. some kind of a control panel. So I'll make when we test it we can have a look and see what that displays. So anyway now it needs to be um, charged up and put on the road. Oh just a quick overview before we run the tests. So anyway that's a um, conventional kit bike back brake interesting enough if you read the instructions then it's actually I don't recommend using this other than in emergency cases and they even mention that you know between the lines it's not that if things break then they won't pay for it and I'm assuming that that would mean that if you have if you're running the motor and then you get into an emergency and then you suddenly hit the brake then it might actually um, yeah just yeah maybe the gears or something there's no feed I don't there's maybe no electronic feedback from the back back brake to the rest of the system. So. But anyway, so reserved for emergency use. And then you have the um, charger input that's there. Just plug in the plug in the cable. And then uh, into the mains and get it charged. And I already did that, so it's three hours to charge from complete flat. So anyway, I thought we'd have a look at um, yeah, exactly. I just mentioned that um, if you need to adjust the height, then it's this. Uh, there's a clip hook here that you can open up, and, and uh, then you can actually adjust the height. That's not yeah, similar to um, manual kick bikes. So anyway, let's have a look at the actual controls. So oh, let's have a look at this then. This is the magnetic brake, ah, which means that it's run for, through the motor. And um, then here's the acceleration. Uh, I have to remember the which is which. <laughs> and you have a horn. you can actually get into some settings. Actually went through the settings there wasn't really anything of that much interest though, except that if you want to change the speed indication to miles per hour from kilometers per hour. But, um, yeah. And then you have the um, they call it the switch button but it's actually the on off button. button so you put the light on and off and this is the speed level so I'm assuming that when you're going at a certain speed then you can just hit that and then it will do a constant speed and also the nice thing about this bike is that it actually has a proper oh it's angled down but the, there is a very it's a, has a very good um, lead light so I'll we'll have to test that it well when it, when it gets dark see how it works so anyway, that's the basic control setup, all the basic features of the bike, anything else to comment before I start using it. So let's start it up inside and just to see that we have some power at least. Hello? What? That was interesting. Oh, that was a bit of a bug. Hello? 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 H
I pressed the start button, the start, the on button, a very short time. Then I just got the start of the, um, oh, so it's called voice. That's, that's interesting. Anyway, trip meter, number of kilometers. So that's time and kilometers, and then it's kilometers per hour. That's presumably battery charge, and volts, yeah, and then amp consumption. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I wonder if it's gonna speak more when I'm driving. <laughs> so I um, downloaded the companion application and um, yeah, I don't know how useful this will be. We'll see. Uh, probably not gonna be. But I mean, it did have one feature that might be interesting in the settings, and that's it seems to have a lock password pass word. I don't know what that actually does right now. <laughs> There's nothing in the user manual about how to use this app. So basic, um, basic options. Ah, I suppose the main thing is to switch between kilometers per mile and miles per hour. It's the most interesting. I'll come back with some comments if I find this. Ah, but there was this setting uh, the lights on. That that's actually kind of cool. That actually sets the um have to move the camera. Yeah, it sets all, all the lights on, so that, that's actually quite nice. Yeah. So my wild GoPro setup. In several videos ago, I actually did an unboxing of both this unit. So this is really cool because you get these clip things that are very sturdy. This is full metal jacket with a really big thumb screw, so you can tighten it down really hard and it won't break. And this is fully metal. And then the thing is, you just need to you just loosen that, and then you can put it into whatever angle. Oh absolutely gorgeous and then you just you can actually screw it so that it, it won't move anywhere even if this is the bike is jumping around and stuff so, uh, now that i can have the gopro facing me or or the track or the floor or whatever it's, can can recommend <laughs> this here is horribly expensive but uh, it's a small rig product i i, I spent a, at least a couple of months thinking if i would even invest but I must say that now that I actually have it, I, I, I really say that, that that is fantastic. So, anyway, now we have the bike up. And um, in some regions there are special regulations. For example, in our region you can't go faster than 20 kilometers an hour. Otherwise it's classified as a moped. And you need special permits for that. And then you need a, a helmet in our case. Otherwise. And then the it does we also have a local uh, regional uh, limitation on the size of the motor. But actually I don't know what the size of the motor is, so, so we'll see.
used to. That's the speed control. Oh, a bit. Hmm. No, I think one will get used to it. I already did a very short lap round. Yep, just more training. So, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. There'll be more content coming. Or just um, press the like button if you thought it was worth it. Um, if you'd like to buy some merch, uh, or just buy me a cup of coffee, links are in the description. All the proceeds will go to developing the channel. There'll be more cool stuff to demonstrate. And uh, see you in the next one.